A newly released mock draft on Tuesday has an interesting result for the San Francisco 49ers, but what might be even more interesting to 49ers fans is what the mock draft's author said about his selection. The draft in question is the first of the year released by well-known NFL.com draft analyst Lance Zierlein, and in it he projects the 49ers selecting Michigan defensive lineman Rashawn Gary at number two overall, even with Ohio State defensive end Nick Bosa available after giving Josh Allen of Kentucky to the Arizona Cardinals at the no. One overall spot, watching Allen come off the board at no. One is a curveball the 49ers will need to be prepared to deal with, Zierlein wrote in his mock draft. Ohio State's Nick Bosa is more a polished and game-ready edge rusher than Gary, but San Francisco could opt for explosiveness over polish, Zierlein then made a comment of note when explaining his selection with Ann on Twitter. He said picking Gary over the higher-rated Bosa isn't a choice he would make but is basing his pick based on what he's heard about where the 49ers stand. I wouldn't but trying to work off of things I've heard, Lance Zierlein, at Lanka Zierlein, January 29, 2019 Niners. Personally, I would take both are in this scenario, but if you do that, that may mean that they are officially giving up on Solomon Thomas. It could happen. Lance Zierlein, at Lanka Zierlein, January 29, 2019 It's still very early in the draft process, of course, and when it comes to getting worked up about who the 49ers may or may not like at this point, remember that they left everyone in the dark last year about their decision to pick right tackle Mike McGlinchey until the very end. But Zierlein's suggestion that the 49ers might like Gary Overbosa is something worth keeping in mind. Also worth watching is what Zierlein says about the possibility of a Bosa selection being a sign the 49ers giving up on Solomon Thomas. Thomas hasn't produced as expected since being the number 3 overall pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, and his future role seems to still be up in the air, although he showed some promise when given more time in the inside during the 2018 season. 49ers defensive coordinator Robert Sala told reporters at the Senior Bowl last week that recently hired defensive line coach Chris Kakurak is studying Thomas, and down the line there will be a decision on where he will fit in this season, we're going to sit down. I want his thoughts, unbiased, so I'm not going to put anything out there right now, Sala said, per the San Francisco Chronicle. Kakurak kind of knows what we did last year. He knows what our thoughts are initially, but we're going to have him study it. We all want to see what he says and how he views him. And then from there as an organization, we'll do what's best. Gary, 6-5, 283, came to Michigan in 2016 out of Paramus Catholic High School in New Jersey, where he was ranked by various recruiting analysts as the number one overall prospect in his high school class. He appeared in 35 college games and finished with 137 tackles, 24 tackles for loss and 10.5 sacks. He was limited to 9 games as a junior in 2018 due to a shoulder injury but was still named first team all Big Ten by the conference coaches while finishing with 44 tackles, 7 tackles for loss and 3.5 sacks. He decided to forego his final year of eligibility to declare to the NFL draft and also skipped his team's appearance in the Peach Bowl against Florida in the process.